Right, I better make this quick before Ken puts a record on. Back up on the deck with Alex. Boom. <laughs> and uh, we've put a handrail on now, but we're not going to fall off anytime soon. Me right, man. Good it's boss man. Um, that was quick. Wasn't it? And good morning. Next day. Tell you what, it's a lot warmer today. The bloody jacket's off already. And I think the long sleeve's coming off in a minute. I may even swap my gloves, but yeah, that's how warm it is today. Lovely day today. Uh, we didn't get to film this because um, we just wanted to get this ready. Liam's not in today, he's not feeling too well, so just me, Steve and Alex. I felt weird to say it that way. The other Steve and Alex. So Brooklyn with Steve, Alex and Alex today. We've shifted the G deck up one. So now this is set for the rest of it now. We should be able to get the rest of the courses and the copings off on that now. And tell you what, this G deck is an absolute dream. Like, took us like, probably about 15 minutes to do that. And we've also lifted the spot boards up too. Fanciest ones I've ever seen. We've double braced them so these, they aren't going anywhere. Same with these, we've got our ham rail at the top. Got this holding them together. They ain't going anywhere. So now it's just load, load, load. I've got one barrow ready. I think we need about another 500 at least. In fact, seven courses left. We need close to a thousand. I've got a barrow full of back bricks ready, and then just find the other barrow. We'll have a mad load up morning. Get at least close to the amount of bricks we need and get cracking. Without Liam, we're gonna have to do all our own mixes. If you've seen this, Liam, how dare you! <laughs> yeah, I think that's all there is to update you on. Get cracking. Hello. Hey. Right, since we don't have Liam, I won't bother him, but Alex is there on the mix. Yeah, we may be on our own tomorrow because Alex is away. So, uh, and Liam may still be off, we don't know yet, so that's kind of... As I was driving to work. <laughs> oh, Oh, that's odd, that's Snowden days. <laughs> yeah, so, Liam may be off tomorrow, we don't, I'm not sure, we'll see how that goes. But, um, I'll turn you around. More or less loaded out for a good bit, and there's a few spurs in the barrow ready. Once uh, Alex has got that mixed through, we're just going to be cracking on. Steels have been measured out, and we've got the uh, markings down where they're going to go. There's like the centre line, where the steel's going here, and all, all that fun stuff. We've got the opening measured out, so Tony's got a drawing now of where all the steels are going, the sizes and such. Alex is returning, he's got our mortar. Gotta say, bloody lovely stuff. Once you get the hang of it, it's just... Water. Look at that, expertly one-handed. Well, I'll take over now up on the deck. Got a few bricks loaded out. Alex has got our mix ready. This stuff is brilliant. We had it down on that one. I'm drop, put it for the top one now. Handrails. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven courses to go. So what I'm going to do now is, as Alex has done here, he's laid these bricks out. He's measuring, picking out the two, three, fives for the headers. Try and keep the back as wet as flat as we can. house coach house yeah not the shed <laughs> I called it a shed <laughs> I wish I had a shed like this <laughs> There we go. Dad's side is loaded up for a good bit at least. Um, the back, got a few good brick in it still, so we should be good for a little bit. And because we're quite higher up, we uh, don't really need, we don't need this yet, so me and Liam should be good for a little bit. We're gonna barrow some more brick over, load us out a bit more. 
all the dud ones were stuck into a different pile just so we don't um, have any crap ones in the face. They're all unusable at the moment, so we're just going to filter through as we get them. Mix is cleaned out. Dad did most of the cleaning. I uh, finished off the rinse in, rinsed off the barrows, and um, we're just wrapping up. Getting the last bit of the mortar used up, having a bit of a point up, bit of a rub down, and uh, that should be it. We've got four courses left. Let's see, where is he? There he is. We're on to the top two courses. Boing. And it's raining, which is annoying, but it's not going to stop us because these bricks are that dry. So we're going to get these two blasted on and see if we can get as many copings on as we can. Obviously, I've said before, we haven't got enough copings to finish it. So we're going to get as many, get all the full ones on as long as the weather lets us. It's obviously, the, uh, if it's going to be pouring down later, we don't want to be putting copings down on it. But yeah, it's a, it's a lump of wall. And then it's on to the uh, extension next week. So I'm looking forward to that. What Dad's doing now is setting the brick on the last course of this wall. And, uh, I know it's usually just out oh, to the top of the wall, but morning. Hey, Main man's here. Hey, 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 guys. <laughs> this is two courses. This is the same height as the other end. He said that looks a bit high. That so we we said right. Um, how do we check? So first thing we did straight onto YouTube, onto the walk around video, and there's a video of Tony on the wall, and we paused it, and you can see there's a step in the wall at the top. So we're stepping it. in line with next door's house so it's going to go we're going to put a slope on it so we're going to come up and back level through so that two courses that i put up have actually worked as a dead man so we've just managed to get those last two courses in i haven't done the cuts yet so when the weather clears a bit we can get the cuts done and start getting as many copings in as we can there's the coping which actually sits a drip on the front, our side, and then it sits flush at the back, like that. That's nice and easy to put on, sits flush with the wall. So, get, try and keep it dry. It's stopped raining now, it's a beautiful day now. Just have a quick look inside. Here they are, Fire up Friday. Happy Friday! Look at the smiles on the faces. Yeah. <laughs> a bit late today, they weren't very happy. <laughs> yeah, good. Good stuff, mate. A lot of happy chappies in there now. Oh, there's our copings. Oh, it's just getting them. Oh, yeah, they're nice, them. They're going to top it off nicely, then. Let's get up there and get these on. At least we're going to get it finished today. That's going to be good. So, there you go. There's the old crumbly wobbly wall. And there's the new solid wall. Which um, you're not actually going to see it because this is all going to be solid. This side of the extension boys are just busy over there digging we're gonna get as much as we can up to there so that way that part's finished for the neighbors they've got their privacy back we can then get the gate installed get all the wood taken away that's not that's not us though that's uh that's the other boys but our part for this section at least should be good to go and finished it's uh it's a bit a bit overwhelming that we're actually near the end of this well Dad and Alex built that. Me and Liam are going to start cutting the headers. Liam's all geared up, ready. <laughs> so we're using the BT, and he's got us all set up with the water suppression and everything. So. Me and Liam are doing the brick organising, I'm going to show you what Dad and Al have been up to. He wanted the copings to go diagonally, and uh, Alex geniusly thought, well, cut the bricks down with the grinder, nice and smooth, and then just sit them on that, so it's a bloody smooth transition. It looks friggin' smart. Master of his craft, that's what he is. So, Rick, Liam and Steve and Alex have arrived at the building they need mission control. You see all the pictures of the lads? You probably can't pick it up on the GoPro. 
great sign that all lads on. So we're gonna head up now and see Tony for our little meeting. Let's go. Yeah.